Welcome to Year One Diesel. My name is Matt. Well, if you guys saw the last episode, you know that I just went on my very first uh, road trip in the in the Jeep. So I did about 300 miles round trip, and everything went great. I really enjoyed it. It was a good trip. Um, and the only issue that I really had was uh, was my GPS. So I don't have the eight inch uh, in dash navigation system. So I use my old Garmin GPS. I like my old Garmin GPS because uh, it's got all my waypoints that I want in it and I can just easily swap it between vehicles. But the problem is that it will not stay put on the Jeep dashboard. So this is my Garmin GPS on the dashboard. And this is a unit that I've had for years and it works fine, I enjoy it. Um, the problem is that um, it's got this little heavy squishy base thing uh, to hold it down and the Jeep dashboard is just not very big. It doesn't doesn't sit anywhere very very well on it and it doesn't stay put especially if the Jeep is kind of rocking around. Um, so uh, when I was driving this just kept moving around and it'd keep rotating as I you know bounced around and so I, I wanted to figure out a better way to uh, to mount this uh, something that was a little more permanent a little more friendly um, but still removable so that I could use it in the traverse if I, if I wanted to. So um, if, if any of you had happened to see uh, KC250's video from this week, uh, he actually shows the uh, 67 Designs uh, dash rail system. And that would be absolutely perfect for this because then I could put the dash rail in and then mount you know this out here somewhere and that would work perfect I, that'd be a great solution and so i went to the website and i checked it out and i it's definitely on my my uh future wish list i'm probably not going to buy it right now because um i think i can make something that's going to work for my purposes and uh, i'm, I'm going to just take that on as a challenge to see if i can come up with something that will that will hold this in place here um using something like what they're using for mounting with the 67 designs um, system or we'll come up with something different now if, if you guys have seen my other videos of uh, you might recognize this camera I, I use this occasionally it's a Mobius action cam that I've that I've had for a number of years um, real tiny little unit nice wide-angle lens on it and and over the years I've I've made a bunch of sort of custom mounts, a little suction cup mount, and got a really strong magnet mount so I could stick this underneath. Um, and I've got this clamp mount that that works well in the Jeep because there's a couple of places I can I can clamp it if I if I need to. Um, it also clamps well onto door handles and things like that. So um, I like this clamp mount, but I'm thinking what I might do is I might try to come up with something for the GPS that has the same sort of quarter 20 uh, camera mount base and uh, um, see if there's some way that I can come up with something that that will that will at least mount the GPS and then maybe give me a couple options for uh, mounting some other things. Um, the rest of my videos I also just tend to use like an old cell phone and I also have a quarter 20 bracket for that cell phone. Um, I might try to incorporate something like that in. So. Uh, so, off to the workshop, let's see if we can come up with something to, uh, to make this work. So here's the, uh, here's the problem that we're trying to solve. I want this to stay put on the dash of the Jeep, and it's a very narrow dash, and um, this tends to bounce around and move around a lot. Um, I used to use these window suction cup mounts, which is probably better suited for the Jeep, and then I moved to this uh, sort of squishy, heavy base mount. Uh, because the suction cups, they, they last for a while and they, they get kind of brittle and dirty and they, they just don't stick very well anymore. So I, I, I've gone through a lot of these and I just, uh, I, I just keep replacing these. So this is like a standard Garmin suction cup mount and I buy these by, you know, I buy them three at a time or something on eBay. So I actually had quite a few of these laying around. Um, and so what I'm thinking about doing is um, probably modifying this, this suction cup base uh, to something that I can attach down inside that pocket and then stick this in here like like so. Uh, there'll be something attached to the bottom of this and um, then I can uh, attach this to the, the base of the storage pocket, something that I can quickly and easily remove. Um, so I'm, I'm going to look at my options here for a bit and see if I can figure something out. So here's what I've come up with. 
Um, I've got these uh, these Wise cams, and I use these around the house a lot. They're just little Wi-Fi security cameras, and they're they're uh, really really good. I I have a bunch of these. I uh, put some of these up on my parents' farm to keep an eye on things. Um, anyway, they the way that they mount is they use a they use a little metal base um, that comes with it, and that just magnetically sticks right to the bottom, and it's, it's actually sticks pretty well. And so I've actually, I don't generally use the base to mount these cameras because I've got little outdoor holders and things uh, for, for the cameras. So I had a couple of these extra bases left over, and um, I've actually used these for some other projects in the past. Um, you can see on some of my toy RC cars, uh, I put these little bases in the back and they can hold the spare tire on. Um, but it also makes a really good little camera mount. I have I have these um, uh, Mobius Action Cam. I have a Mobius Action Cam um, that I really like. And uh, I, I've made a couple of different bases for it. And one of the bases I made here is a, a magnetic base um, to, to hold the uh, a, a standard quarter 20 mount for the action cam and I've got some really strong little magnets on here that I, I think will do a good job of holding the GPS down so my plan is to mount these one of these discs into that storage pocket um, they come with a piece of 3M uh, uh, double-sided foam tape and you, you can actually buy these from the WISE website and I'll add a link in the description, um, and they're like four bucks, and they include the the 3M tape, the the uh, the little ring, and um, they also include like an extra um, USB extension cable. So for four bucks, you it's a pretty good deal. Or just go and buy some of these Wise cams. They're like 20, 25 bucks. So my plan is to take some some of these tiny cylindrical magnets and 3D print a quarter 20 mount base and with slots to put these magnets in. Okay, and then I'll modify this side so I'll take the suction cup piece out of here and I have a couple options here so I could either when I 3D print my base, I can 3D print that so that it fits right inside of this. Or, and I might do this, I'll modify this so that it'll accept a standard uh, quarter 20 mount. Um, and that way I could use this on any other quarter 20 mounting accessory. So if I end up getting something like the uh, 67 Designs rack system in the future, well maybe I could use this um, to to connect this to that so uh, I'll have to look at that but um, part of the problem with 3d printing parts for uh, using in the interior of the Jeep is that right now I'm printing in PLA and this isn't terribly temperature stable so it's fine most of the time but if this is sitting in the Sun on the hot dash it's probably gonna get a little bit soft so I I am not set up right now to print in ABS or uh, PET I only have PLA, so I'm probably going to print in PLA. So I think that's the reason I'm, I'm going to go and just modify this to accept a standard quarter twenty, um, and and then I can then I can reprint this base if I ever need to in a different material if it starts to uh, if it starts to deteriorate. So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pop out this pin, and that should drop the guts of this out, and then we'll. Uh, and then we'll figure out what we need to do to add a quarter 20 um, thread to, to the inside of this thing. I've got a little block here with a hole in it that I can pound against and, and start get this uh, get this pin started. So ideally I'd use a punch. Uh, I don't have one small enough in my collection. I probably lost the little one. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver. This plastic is, is fairly soft and this pin is just about the right diameter for this screwdriver. So 
it should only take a couple little taps to get this started. And then you can just push it out the rest of the way. And then it pops right out. So, so now I can pop out that pin. And you can see the spring and the, the suction cup portion here and the inside of this. So what we need to do is get a um, something inside here that we can that, that'll accept a, a standard uh, quarter inch thread and I think I've got actually just the thing um, uh, these are easy lock um, wood thread inserts and I, I happen to have a whole bunch of quarter 20 uh, from another project and and it looks like I should be able to put these right inside there and maybe if I'm lucky I can even get some thread started in that material. It looks like I'm going to be able to screw that right in. Uh, so I'm going to get my, my tools out and see if I can get that um, get that thread right inside there. Uh, I may I may add a little bit of epoxy or um, foam glue like Gorilla Glue uh, to this just to keep the threads from walking out. But that actually looks like it'll probably go right in there and hold without even doing much modification to that. So I'm going to I'm going to play around a little bit to see how deep I need to get that in there and see if I, I need to put some glue on it. But um, that, I think, is going to be just about perfect, and it'll give me a nice, real secure quarter 20 mount for this. And then I can build a base that'll, that'll uh, interface with this um, and should hold up the, uh, hold up the GPS. And so that looks like it it dug down in there pretty deep into the uh, uh, into the plastic. It wound up the foam glue that I put around it. So what we should see happening is that that uh, that foam will expand around the threads and just really lock that in there. Um, so this should be good to go for now. We'll let that dry um, and we'll come back to that another time. So it looks like I have to wrap up this section of this video. I have a 15 minute time limit on uh, YouTube uploads. Um, so I will get this portion uh, uploaded tonight and then I'll get the rest of it uh, uploaded tomorrow. Um, I'm still waiting for some glue to dry and then we'll do the test fit and I'll get that footage edited tomorrow. So I apologize for the two part uh, episode. I really hate putting things into two parts, but I'll try to put them together as back to back as possible. So. Hopefully I'll have the other part of this uploaded by tomorrow night. Um, so thanks again for watching and um, be sure to come back and, and see the rest of it when we actually see if this works. Thanks.